What is the benefit? That's what a lot of people want to know. How does learning to build these relationships benefit me, my agency, or law enforcement as an industry? People trust us, but that trust is waning, especially what's happening in today's society. We need to find a better way. It's not just whether you're actually doing justice. People need to believe that you're being just. And we're not there. And so we're working towards that. And programs like this do the same thing. And so we need to figure out ways to bring that trust back, to earn that trust. And treating people like they should be treated, treating people equally, treating people justly, is all a big part of that. It's about connectivity. It's about being able to connect with individuals. And that we, we believe that one way to resolve or solve some of the issues that we're having to deal with now, especially if it pertains to social unrest, is to be able to connect not only with law enforcement, but with the community. You have an opportunity to be a hero each and every day because if you were sent out on five calls and there were five different communities, the common factor would be what? It would be you, the officer. We're dealing with you, the individual, as opposed to trying to deal with a lot of other aspects that we're going to find in the community. Trust and transparency are two huge things that we're dealing with in the criminal justice system. D2C is, is you know, the relationship building, the things that they're talking about allow us to have that trust, allow us to build that trust, allow us to let the community understand where law enforcement is coming from. You know, how the state police do this, it's just forward thinking and it helps us to be that transparent branch of government we need to be. This is all about relationship building and how they could get to a place of substantive successful and sustainable relationships. This is about serving and protecting. And 99.9% of the law enforcement officers that you're going to see out there, they do a fantastic job and they do it for all the right reasons. If I only did what came within my doors, then we still have a problem. Because the first contact that people have when it involves the criminal side of things is with a police officer or with a trooper. And so we need to make sure that they are getting the message and they are giving the message also. And the message is that people need to be treated equally and respectfully. And we need to figure out a way to do that, not just the branch, but every contact point that a person has when they're involved in the criminal justice system. And the fact that the state police are doing this tells me that they believe that too. And so I think we're all going to be better off and have a better society because we are really concerned with how people perceive us. And I don't think that was uh, done to the extent that it's being done now. There's a need for uh, proven uh, direction. These unfortunate opportunities call for their specialties. And that's why there's an incredible need right now for D2C. Yeah, I've sat in that seat out there before in the past. I've had people come in and talk about diversity and all. And usually it's people coming in and all they're doing is just bashing the police, telling us what we don't do and what we should be doing. D2C is a different approach. We're bringing the community in. We want all, all participants to be there. You know, we want to be as transparent as possible. We want everybody present. And then it's all about building relationships. We can only build those relationships if we get everybody involved. They, they may be one of the only organizations that we've seen that does this sort of training to this level. And Q in particular, his background, FBI agent, prosecutor was involved in our league and so you know, his unique perspective on this entire situation leads to this sort of training and development that really no one else can offer it's not like me coming to them and saying i'm going to give you this training this is somebody who's went through the same training that they've gone through so there's a level of trust and respect right from the start with dtc that you may not get with some other organization who hasn't had that law enforcement background so what happens in san diego affects miami what happens in Miami affects Charleston. What happens in Charleston affects these other places. You are boots on the ground. When you look at the recipe for reconciliation, you'll notice that listening, learning, and understanding are the first three steps. We listen to learn. We learn to understand.